So my daughter got her some new wheels. She wound up with a Cadillac CTS. So now I am going to get this Jeep prepped for selling. There's lots of videos out there doing touch up on body damage and trim and all that good stuff. So I'm going to be fixing all the pink trim and bring, taking it back to black. I've ordered a dent puller and I'm going to try to fix this dent. I've been watching videos on how to repair plastic bumpers with tears and bubbled out where she's backed into something. She also busted the tail light. So daddy's gonna do some repairs and I'll bring you guys along with me as I teach myself how to do all this. So what we're starting with today is the simple stuff. I'm taking all the pink trim, I'm taping it off. I'm taking a little bit of sandpaper and just lightly sanding this. Then I'm gonna wipe it down and then I'm gonna paint it. It's time to do something with that trim anyways because uh, it is obviously starting to fade and flake away. All right, just kind of working on this a little at a time. I'm going to finish all the trim pieces first before I start on to the uh, dent repair. Prep work is very important when it comes to this stuff. Anyways, I'm using a bare product this time, a uh, textured black mat. It puts on a really nice coat onto the trim. I'm, I'm really happy with that, but it is powerful. It throws some serious overspray. So you have to make sure you put the paper out a long ways out from your project. Personally, I like the Krylon Fusion that's formulated for plastic, but the place where I went, um, the bear is all they had that was uh, the higher end paint. I'm gonna strip this off here, and then I'm gonna go to the next piece of trim. You'll be able to see a, a pretty big difference. Okay, there we go. Papers off and uh, it's looking pretty good. So now I have to do is go through here and tape this off. It looks like there's some kind of tar or something. I want to make sure you get that all cleaned up. Even though it's not the surface that you're going to be painting, you want all this clean so you're not having to uh, come back and rub on the fresh paint. So I'm going to go through here and give this thing a light sanding on probably 150 grit and uh, wipe it all down with mineral spirits, let it dry. And then I'm gonna tape it all off and prep it for painting. What I'm doing here is I'm just smoothing out any of the high spots also any oxidized paint that was on here from the previous paint job. Then I'll wipe all this back down before I tape it all off. Okay, she's all wiped down. Now it's time to do a little taping. Pretty simple, straightforward. Just take your time with it. Now, if this was a high-end vehicle, I'd probably take the time to go ahead and take the trim pieces off. But honestly, just getting this thing ready for resale, and its retail value isn't but maybe $3,500. It's not an expensive vehicle. These Jeep Liberties, once they get some high mileage on them, they lose a lot of their resale value. Now, this stuff is important. It cuts down on that overspray. If you have any little gaps, it is amazing how that overspray will get back behind this paper and down onto your paint. And then you're having to scrub it off with mineral spirits. I like to tear off a bunch of little strips, hang it on the trim somewhere. That way I can quickly grab it as I work around with this paper. Slap 
up one there in the middle. Doesn't have to be anything pretty. Keep that tight. Even though that looks like it's right up against the tape, it may be raised off just slightly, especially when you spray. When you spray, it's gonna cause an air current and it can easily pull this paper out away from the tape. So you wanna add a little bit of tape along this edge here. But as soon as that aerosol breeze hits that thing, it'll just sit there and flap and it'll put all that overspray right down on your paint job over here. And that's no bueno. Not unless you like a lot of cleanup. Just like that, work your way all the way around the project and get ready to paint. Okay, she's taped off pretty good. Make sure you give your can a good shake. Don't be timid with the nozzle. If you just lightly push down on this, you're gonna throw out some spurts of paint and you don't want that. You want a nice fine fan of paint coming out. I like to kind of do the edges lightly, hard to get places, always hit those first, and then come back over to the front. Just a light touch. And also it gives you time to kind of get the feel for it. And hit the face. Different angles on the uh, writing. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Hit one more time. Got to be careful though, because you sure don't want to do it to the point to where it starts running. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, I'll let that set for an hour or so. Pull the paper and tape off and make sure I don't have any overspray issues that got onto the paint. If I do, I'll get them taken care of with the mineral spirits. All right, so I'm going to continue on around the entire Jeep. Still got the other side to do over here. So I've got a little bit of work to do. And then we're gonna jump over to dent repair and replacing this tail light. And last will be this little train wreck. Whoops. I discovered that when you lift the hood, there's more of this pink trim that is hidden up underneath the hood here. So I get to redo that, but that's okay. It's easy enough. Just tape it off around there. Get your paper on here. Repaint it. Keep on going. All right. How about we try that again without the oops? Just as simple as that. paint all right now body shop guys may do this totally different I have no idea I've never been in a body shop but this is the way I do it and it's worked for years so if anybody's got a better idea feel free to put a comment in the comment section Everything's looking really good. Perfect. No runs, and it's got total coverage. That's what I need.
Oh, oh, look at that. Very nice, very nice. When do we ever have basic food, like a sandwich or something? Because I cook meals. We don't have pre-made meals. Well, I guess I'm going to take for school, so I don't have to come home and eat lunch or buy food every day. Huh. You know what? Walmart Super Center has a grocery section. You can just get after it. You don't cook every meal. You just get lunch. Your mom don't need lunch for something to your reason. I don't need as many meals nowadays. Uh, young adults. Oh boy. And that one? That one moves out in five days. <laughs> Somebody's about to get a taste of reality. Going from living in a great big log house where everything, everything is provided at a whim's wish to out on your own. <laughs> wish I could video that. Back to the conversation at hand. So there are the trim pieces, all painted up and looking really good. Also got another little surprise in today. I didn't know it was coming in today. Look at that. Ooh, doggies. Brand new tail light to replace the one my daughter smashed. So I believe we'll be doing that next, and then we'll move on to the dent repair.